Greetings and salutations. I'm the Raven. This is episode two of Tales of Monkey Island. We're finally getting back to it after a while. What took us? T time. Time took us. Okay, joining me is the Landstars, JK Lantern, and Star Princess HLC. Have I been part of this LP before? Yes. You? You've been tortured by Stan the entire time. That must be why I don't remember. <laughs> Do you remember the Frenchman in white face paint with the strange wind gun? Oh, the guy that got horny when we were turning the dial, right? Pardon? Am I thinking about the other guy with the powdered wig and powdered face? The doctor. Yeah, that guy. Anyway, so what isn't here with the moment? Hopefully, you join join us later on. Because help plans for the evening. <clears throat> so there's. Oh, there he is. Ah. Speaking of the devil, honey, he's up here. No, I'm not going to support the devil. Oh, we're just gonna go find Zeus. Remember? Sorry. Aren't you going to go find Zeus? No one fights Zeus. <laughs> Fighting Zeus uh, is a bad idea. I'm going to fight him and I'm going to non-play. And now we're over two minutes into this. I'm not even into the game yet. Yeah, we ready to be a new game. Yes. Oh wait, is this the one where we have the cursed hand? Yes. It has been said, what fates impose that men must need abide. It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treepwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Lechuk. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate, as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. He won't. <laughs> he survived this long, and there is a sequel to this game, so I guess he does survive. Guybrush Threepwood, I've been waiting a long time for this. No, you may have opinions on this sure section. a mistake. I don't even know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Morgan LaFlay, mighty pirate hunter. My name is feared across the seven seas. I've taken down some of the most hardened, grog-guzzling scumbags from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. LaFlay? But you're a woman. I thought, wait, you've heard of me? Have I heard of you? Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Oh god, we have a fan girl. Yep. To escape the inescapable carnival of the I vote world. we push her overboard. <laughs> wow. You say that. Too flattered. I'm here for the job. The Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh! I was using that. Oh, this is gonna be good. Pick up your sword and face me like a man. Can I pick up my gun and You're face you like a guy. coward? On guard. Meanwhile, our hand is busy wrestling with a bird. Friggin! Bird the birds! Uh, okay, I think, yeah, I see. I see in broad terms what they're thinking of with this section. Yeah. Yes, I know what a mast is. Bet that line could hold my weight, but it's about an inch out of reach. Like, this, this is reminding me a little bit of one section of, uh... Grim Pandango. 
Yeah. Basically, you have to click on all the things in the right order. Yeah. He's fine. I've just got him tied up in the main quarters. Keep your head in the fight. Don't worry about me, Captain. I am sure I can wriggle my way out of these ropes eventually. Thank you. Okay. So you gotta talk to her again so you're close to the railing with the hand in the hook. Okay. Aren't you getting tired yet? Not a chance. I train myself by studying your moves. I can match you blow for blow. Heck, I can even hold my breath for five minutes, just like you. Ha! Huh. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You mean that's true? I thought the stories were exaggerated. Impressive. Take the hook. She studied him. Why onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe and the number of situations Lutus, a length Lutus. of rope comes in handy for. For, for example, a this using it to tie up your first mate. Yeah. Oh, so obviously. But clearly, it was. Uh, Murray. Murray wasn't that or a lack of two. Uh, Murray wasn't there in the beginning. Stand then? Hey, get off my hand, stupid bird. Okay, talk to her again and move to the bridge. And then use the hook on the cable to the mast. Why are you taking orders from that disinge guy anyway? He's clearly one loony doctor. He's got lampreys in his lighthouse. I'm a mercenary. It's what I do. Once hired, I won't quit till the job is done. Even if it means taking down a pirate as renowned as yourself. Renowned? I didn't even realize I was now. He's not renowned if anything he's wanting from us. Enough for good reasons, pirate eyes. Yep. I still can't quite reach it. Where's your dummy for toy? Uh, is it in the corner, maybe, somehow? No? I remember it was in the office. There it is. Okay, we still got the parrot. Aha! Whee! Aha! Try and catch me now! Bet you didn't see that move coming. <clears throat> yeah, I yeah, I did. Look at it down to click on the rope holding the barrel of fish. Was that supposed to hurt me somehow? Maybe. Did it work? No. Dang. The biggest problem uh, with Morgan the Flay besides is a big old fan girl. She stood at him, and yet she's amazingly competent. Okay, talk to her again to get on the bridge. How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. Well, that was easily showing off. Can't we just agree to disagree? Not gonna happen. Use the wheel to tilt the ship. Back off, woman. Never. You know, I've had a mental response to so many women in my life. For the simple fact that so many seem out to, to mess with me. Ain't that right, Star? What? Boop. Hey, that was my argument. Bitch. That barrel breaks, Winslow is gonna be mad. Back to the railing. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I believe that's technically true. Sure they all suffocated. Whee! Shoot the seagull lion, steals a fish from the barrel. Look behind you, a three headed sea chimp. No thanks, I've already had lunch. Oh, that's taking it too far. It's filled with fish and just barely hanging on up there. Hmm. Get out of here. Go on, 
shoot. Sorry, Morgan. I hate to do this What's to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? But George Lucas is oh. nowhere near. Ah! You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Uh, I would. <laughs> Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through and use her for fish bait. Uh, she's gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. We're not going far with the mast in that shape. The cowardly cutthroat must have released the counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. Now it's cracked. It is? Whoops. It is indeed. Why well, is our ship held together with bailing wire and chewing gum and a fr you know what? I shouldn't ask that question. It's guy brush three point. Exactly. We'll head for the jerkbait islands. Right. I was gonna say, did you expect better? I'm sorry, did they say jerkbait islands? Yes. Yes. Well then. It's also this ship was built on uh, the island from bits and pieces they serviced. Yeah. The Merfolk weather vane looks good up there. It doesn't do anything useful, but it looks cool. Now to pull out the map. Oh, my Guybrush pulls out his magic map. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. I forgot how Guybrush moved. But we don't get any strange pulling sensations here. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. No, yes, we don't. Sir, Captain Threepwood. But apparently we get a very sexy looking merman, question mark? Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Hi, Captain. Spinner K. I Hi. love that the captain's quarters door is just an outhouse door. Really? Where is everybody? Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? <laughs> maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Uh, well, uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right. We need a plastic pair. Got it. <laughs> Mermaids. <laughs> this is the weird thing about this. About, well, this particular series of games. It's. <laughs> Yeah, there was only a bit of supernatural. There wasn't the supernatural element to the Monkey Island series. This is just really weird with what they include. Go ahead. I mean, you've so, always had voodoo. Yeah. yeah. Hi, sailor. Ah. And then we had the giant robot monkey. A big, strong pirate like yourself, afraid of a little of the cave like me? The giant mon robot monkey, we have merfolk. Pre Wessel Merman! So, are you a mer. That's right. I am 100% proud Vicalian merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away, huh? So, what brings you to Spinner K? Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There is a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. Ever hear of a man named Dakava? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean crazy sponge guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Roe Island. He's not important. Okay. I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen, with silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. And huge you know, trucks of land. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. 
She went right over to the royal chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Oh no! Got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. Give me what I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking! You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innards and tear those to pieces looking! Yo, You're not looking, looking so good, buddy. Please, calm down. He I'm is sure looking a little rough, isn't he? Yeah. Elaine! They're stuck here because of The phony knew a paladin. Guybrush! That's not into that light. fucking river. Worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pops you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. Locus, it it was wasn't my fault. Oh my god! Your hand. What hand? What exactly? What happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh oh. Um. Well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. Uh, I better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one that I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, Proceeds to lose it immediately. To lose yep. Uh, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty pirate. Shut up, you. Thank you, bird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I nominate Bird as best character. Wait a minute. <laughs> you just nominated a bird as best character. You don't have a fever. What is this when I'm doing that? First the Battletech Let's Play, now this. Is a, a master, yeah. master of time, you will mix that success. You, you sneeze like a kitten. Away from this place. I do not sneeze like a kitten. That you played at the wrong that hiccups. Aquarium. But I... Just <laughs> <laughs> messy with you, handsome. This me, Anamone. Oh. Uh, you got me. Uh, how'd you get up here? I swam. Yo! So, yo, Gunbrush! Me. It's me! Let's go! Yes. So you sell bait and repair ships here. That's an odd pairing. Well, I mean, there's a place that wants to open up, up near uh, near one of the local breweries. It's a lounge that's and tough. car detail. You think that's bad. And this place used to be a bait shop and pizza joint, and I still couldn't sell any anchovies. To be fair, anchovies. No, I don't like to eat anchovies, but they're definitely one of those ingredients where it's easy to overdo it. We also don't accept personal checks, travelers checks, credit, barter, foreign currency, or local currency. What do you accept? currency? What do you accept? Coupons. When was the last time I saw someone use traveler checks? Coupons. Uh, do you I was gonna one? say, was last, uh, uh, if you're gonna say, when was the last time I saw someone use coupons? We did a few hours ago! What was the last time I saw someone use local currency? Give me one anyway. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you flirting? Um, I don't know. Look, it's really easy. Just bring me a coupon, and I'll give you some bait. Got it? Yep. Hi, um, a numbly? Hello again, sailor. Please stop saying that. What'll it be? <laughs> I need my mast repair. Sure thing. You want a patch job or a full mast repair? Uh, it's just a crack. I guess a patch job will do. See, that's how they get you. A patch job is basically the same amount of work as a full replacement, but it's certain to go bad on you a lot faster. I give you a full mast replacement. I'll be right back. So much you want Maybe it's policy? Why do I have that song stuck in my head? There we go, all fixed. Your man, Mr. It could be worse. Nice guy, that Reggie. Does he have a cousin? I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. 
I have Guy Brush 3 point, as strange as it is. God, I love that video. So, what's everybody talking about? Arr, me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly pox. See, it's not sickly, it's the sickly pox. Well, it's know how to get a hold of a cure, but no, you won't give it up. <laughs> Never give you one of them is a bacterial or viral infection, the other one is cellular damage from a vitamin deficiency. Those are two very different states of being. And they're both diseases. And Leon has cures diseases. I'm sure you and Chieftain Balloon is a disease. So you're saying paladins can cure alcoholism? Have any of you ever heard of I was told to look for him here and show him a lot. I do remember this man. And now Snowy he hates paladins. Obsessed with finding La Esponja, <laughs> but I have not seen him around. Paladins were responsible for the extinction of the dwarven race. Died in the pursuit. If you gave him the summoning items, I swear I'll gut every one of you. No one is gutting anyone. We can work this out peacefully. Oh, hey, you're really annoying me this game. Yeah, you should be the baddest. What happened? What's this about a cure? Your married life change you. Told an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the power to soak up voodoo energy. La like Esponja Grande. Yes, but to find the Esponja Grande, you must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. I. And that's why we need I am to summon in items. My men have already recovered one of them. Might as well just hand no. over the rest. No. No. I thought you guys worshipped wind gods. Yes. Some of our people yeah. tried evolving and living on land that's ages me. ago. But they always come back to the sea. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the. They're going to be three random ass mundane items we find, and noble seahorse. And it'll somehow go wrong. Cranky fish. Uh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are combined, and the ceremony of ritual words recited. The legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vecalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could tell Captain McGillicutty some of the ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catcher today come supper! Sir, you and an idiot. I noticed a cool raft down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, you wish to enjoy our state-of-the-art human transportation system. Here you go, honey. I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing my part to support oh, seriously, you're really annoying me, this Thanks, game. <laughs> Not in front of company, dear. Oh, sorry. Lady Boo. Well, this is really between you and the fish people. Hope you guys get things worked out. Nice chatting with you. Come on, Elaine, let's go. My brush. We can't leave. Sure we can. Don't worry, I'll pee first. Why not? I've got a new ship and everything. These pirates are acting under the influence of the pox, and since we are the ones responsible for releasing said pox, this conflict is really all our fault. We're gonna stick around and clean up this mess. But I can just handle things here. Or two you've got to get your hands. Uh, this case, sorry. this is your I mean, fault, guys. Fix this. Summoning artifacts. Yep. Yep. They are the key to everything. McGillicuddy's men have got one of them stashed somewhere. Before you turned up, I was about to go to Row Island to follow up on a lead. 
and I've got the chap looking for the third one on Spoon Isle. The chap? No. You let him go? You sent him on a mission? Yes, don't worry, dear. He's harmless. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard you describe LeChuck, fearsome, voodoo, ghostly, demonic, pure, evil, incarnate pirate LeChuck, as harmless. I wonder when I started hallucinating. Guybrush, he's different, and I don't have time to argue. He's going to need your help. Please, my swashbuckling sea stud. Elaine, Negative. never say that again. Please help me to a chuck. Stop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Yet. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> Personal pirate paladin and get those summoning items while I stole these guys. Wait, so he's a See? pirate paladin. paladin. That doesn't mean he can get us scurry. He's gonna, he's gonna go cure the fox way. because he's a paladin. What's the point of that? The fox is different, different than scurry. Than <laughs> well then, what do you two suggest? Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. Artifacts are sacred. I will not uh, let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless. That's I know you need to take the eye out of the statue around here somewhere. Hey, this fishy looking guy still has one glass eye. There we go. Shoot. Why do I have this uncontrollable urge to poke at fish eyes? Okay, let's start again. We need life. Oh, that's a library. The library. I haven't been to our library yet. No. Hello, Very sir. small library. Oh, yes. Squishy fish person. <laughs> Hello, pudgy human. My name is Tetra. Hi. I'm, I'm actually secretly a princess, and I have the Triforce of Wisdom. Library to read up on the rich cultural history of the Vakalian race. <laughs> no, actually, but I do have a few other questions, and I'm not pudgy. Yes, you are. You are now. Ever hear of a guy named Dekava? I have a locket for him. Oh, yes. That guy used to be here at the library all the time, checking out books about sea sponges, aquatic mammals, and mythological treasures. <laughs> Bit of a nut, if you ask me. Sea sponges, huh? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, it's been ages since he's been around. Good luck finding him. Thanks. We're never going to find him. I figured What's it's the not deal with this building? This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vakalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. We're blowing it up. It's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? Hmm, sure does. Uh, okay. That, that was creepy. <laughs> Tell me about a little bit. Alien history. <laughs> you Did like you your know books, that soggy? Ago, Morpho bypassed evolution and used Vakalian Moist. science to obtain legs on which to walk Moist. on land. <laughs> I could at least have a ship post reported of her just saying moist repeatedly. When we return to Mother Ocean, it's fascinating. Oh, yeah, it's fascinating. But in Carl's All this knowledge and more can be found events. right here in your local library. <laughs> It was of a similar vein. That's enough book learning for now. I've yeah, got yeah. parody things to do. Go get him, swashbuckler. You know, hearing the word soggy just makes me think way back in the 80s when Captain Crunch would have Hello, freaking commercials with these white milk nice creatures rat. called Can the Soggies. I can't hey, no, remember some of those ads. Soggy, I will. It's a running gag for Linkara. Here you go. One official Bakalian transit pass. Good for 24 hours. I bet you are. Huh? The oh my. is yours for the day. Just hop on board and use it to sail anywhere within the Jerkbait Islands. Thanks. Jerkbait Islands. 